This video is about regularization in function approximation. Consider that we want to estimate a function. For example, we want to predict the temperature in a given place based on the time of the day. We therefore gather some data that maps the time x to some temperature y. We want to be sure that our function approximator can fit the underlying function, and therefore choose a function approximator that is powerful enough to interpolate our data. What might be the issue with this solution? Pause, and shortly recap what might have gone wrong here. The issue is that our approximation might perform badly if we were to collect new data. This is because the underlying function that we aim to model might be in fact much simpler, and the jitter in the data is simply coming from noisy measurements. If our function model is too powerful, it will start to fit the noise and thereby overfit the training data. However, just based on the data, we cannot know how complex the underlying function is. So can we make use of a powerful model without overfitting the data? This is where regularization comes into play. While there are numerous different forms of regularization, we will focus on some simple objective regularizations for the sake of exposition in this video. Let us start by summarizing what we want. In function approximation, we aim to find an approximation f hat from a model of functions capital F, such that the approximation fits our data well. In particular, if we want to be able to fit all different kinds of data, we have to choose a model capital F that is expressive enough. In order to not overfit our data, however, we can augment our desiderata by stating that the approximation should be simple. That is, we want to find an approximation that fits the data well and is as simple as possible. This second part is exactly what regularization aims to achieve. Let's consider linear regression as an example. In linear regression, we can add features to our feature vector and assign corresponding weights. We want to add many features, such that our model is for sure expressive enough to approximate the target function. Now, how can we tell this model that we prefer simpler solutions without removing any of the features we added? Pause the video and think for yourself whether you can come up with the answer. One way to achieve simpler solutions is to tell the model that it should only use the features that it actually needs and assign a weight of zero to all others. To achieve this we can modify the objective of the optimization. In particular, for linear regression the objective can be formulated as mean squared error over the dataset. We can then augment this objective by assigning a cost for using a feature. This is called lasso regression. Note that the cost here incentivizes the model to set the weights of all features it does not need to zero, as this will lead to a better objective value. The penalty for using a feature is weighted against the original objective by lambda. Lambda is what is called a hyperparameter, that is, a parameter that controls the training process and whose value has to be chosen in advance. Another implicit hyperparameter in the given example is the number of features d. To know how to choose these hyperparameters, we can run the optimization multiple times and cross-validate different choices. Exhaustively iterating through all combinations of hyperparameter values is called grid search. Finally, we note that there are other forms of regularization. For example, if we take the square of the weights instead of the absolute value, we get what is called ridge regression. Going back to our approximation problem, we can model our feature vector with many different guesses. The regularization can then simply pick out those that it finds useful. Using regularization we thereby get a much smoother approximation. Note that the approximation does not interpolate the data anymore, as it implicitly trades off the complexity of the solution against the accuracy on the given data. Let us go back to the formula and note a few things that are important to make this work in practice. First off, it is important to normalize the features and targets by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. Visually this centers and scales our data. This ensures that the coefficient of every feature is not influenced by its magnitude. Note that at prediction time we can simply invert these transformations to get an actual prediction. Let us summarize the main insights of this video. Regularization is a method to tell our function approximator that it should prefer simpler solutions. To do so, we can add a penalty term to our objective function like here. This gives the model the capability to implicitly trade off the capacity as required. However, it adds a hyperparameter lambda, which we have to tune in an outer loop. Thanks for watching this video.